Hello, in this short video, I'm going to share with you how to check file size before upload. You will learn how to use a JavaScript jQuery to check file size before the file is uploaded to the server. If the file size exceeds a specified threshold, uh, we will show an error message in HTML file way. And the solution works across browsers. I have a Java web application here, you see. It allows the users to upload any files uh, to the server. But the maximum file size is only 10 megabytes. Let me choose a file that uh, exists the threshold max file size uh, 10 megabytes. So you can see uh, this file has size about 60, 16 megabytes. And click upload, and uh, the user will see an error here. This site can be rich, so we want to use a help client size uh, script to check the file size before the uh, file is being uploaded to the server to avoid that uh, error screen. So I have the project here. And this is a HTML code that shows the file upload form, you see. And we use the input type equal file here to uh, display, display the uh, choose file button here. Uh, that allows the user to pick up a file to upload to the server. And you can see in this HTML page, I'm using a jQuery here. And now uh, let me show you how to use jQuery to check the size of the file before it is uploaded to the server. So we declare script section here. We write the code in the uh, document ready function ready function so the code will be executed uh, after the page has been loaded here and we set uh, the id uh, for the input type uh, file here mm. file file uh, upload and then we use the query selector to select uh, this uh, file input element with the id is file upload and we uh, element event handler for the chain chain event when the user picks up a file this code in this function will be executed and we declare a, a max uh, file size here for example 10 megabytes equal to 10 multiplied by 1024 bytes and 1024 bytes this is 10 megabytes and we get the file size file size equal uh, this uh, here this is uh, uh, this is uh, input uh, file here file upload here file is uh, the first element in the file array and size and we check if the uh, file size greater than the threshold max file size then we display an error message uh, so in HTML file we can uh, use the method says custom validity method of the input field and an error message is uh, you can upload 
only files under 10 megabytes. And we call this uh, report validity to cost uh, the error message uh, swaps. Else, that means uh, the file size is under the max uh, file size. Then we uh, set the custom validity to an empty string. So the error uh, won't be displayed. Yeah. That's it. Very simple code. Save the changes and now let's uh, test. Uh, refresh the page. Hmm. View the page source to make sure that uh, the JavaScript code is updated here. You can see. And open the developer tools to make sure that we don't have any JavaScript error. See, no error. Now let's try to choose the file which is larger than 10 megabytes here. Open. And you can see the browser immediately reports that uh, you cannot upload the file. Uh, you can upload uh, only files under 10 megabytes here. Then we choose the file again. For example, choose this file about 60 megabytes. Open. And you see. You can upload only files under 10 gigabytes. That's the error message. Very convenient. Very easy for client side validation of the file size before uploading the files to the server. And you can see if the user click upload, the error uh, is uh, displayed again. You see. And now I choose another file which is under uh, 10 megabytes, for example, this one, and click upload. And you see, it allows the file to be uploaded, and the file uh, was uploaded successfully here. Now, let me test again, choose another file. Here. This file is about 20 megabytes open. And you can see the error message. And if I click upload, the error message is displayed again. Very nice, right? So it's better to use client side validation to check the file size before it is uh, being uploaded to the server to avoid the um, error screen uh, uh, from the server. Let's review the code that checks for the file size before upload. You see, here we define the max file size and then we uh, implement the change event handler for the file input. File upload here, we get the size of the file and we check if the size is greater than the max value. We set a custom validity error message here and we call the Report validity method to cause the browser to di display the error message. Else, if the file size is under the max uh, file size value, we set a, an empty string to the custom validity message so the browser won't display the error message. So, this code is very simple and uh, I tested it in different browsers like Firefox and Edge and it uh, works uh, across browsers. I hope you will found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thank you.